Moscow for us, Regini. Well, it's a morning here still in Moscow, but there's still a party atmosphere. Felt like there really didn't become a morning or a night because when I woke up uh, and left the hotel, there were still fans out celebrating or commiserating last night's results. But now the focus is on today's match and Denmark play France here in Moscow later today. And as you can see, there's already crowds building up in the centre of Moscow. Now I'm joined by three uh, fans supporting France today. Um, Sam and Mathieu and Biel. Uh, thanks for joining us on BBC World. Let's start with you, Sam. You literally landed here yesterday, is that right? And we are going, ba going back to France tomorrow just for the match we arrived uh, yesterday. And we will see uh, the match uh, today with, with a group. It's an organized trip. And you won a competition to get here, didn't you? Sorry? You yeah, won a that's true. Um, it was, yeah, it was a competition and uh, it was only a, a lottery, you know. And just describe to people what it's like to be in Moscow. I mean, it really is a party atmosphere here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's a very, a very big city with big, large street, big buildings, and uh, very different from what I'm used from in uh, in France. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, really different. I feel like I'm in a really other place. I don't know how to explain it, but okay, Mathieu, you got your flag. Just turn yeah. around so we can see it. There you go. Now, that says free couch for fans. for fans. Just explain that because you're also a fan here, but you're also here to try and help fans have somewhere to stay because there's thousands of fans that have come here from around the world. But what exactly is your initiative all about? So, so the initiative is really to get the real fans back into uh, the stadiums, right? Because it's, it's really now a big budget for, for fans to, to, to travel for World Cup and the inflation of accommodation. And we can't do nothing about it ticketing or, uh, or the transportation really, but we can make a difference in terms of the accommodation. So fans would host other fans for free and in exchange they would share around their you know, common passion around football, around sports and, and we've been uh, helping out with having a few uh, local fans being hosted here in Moscow. And we also uh, played football together with a nice uh, friendly tournament as well. Okay, so all fans coming together. Where are you staying then? Are you staying with a fan here? Yeah, yeah, we stay with the Moscovite fans. Uh, he's in 20, 25 minutes from here. And uh, it's a real fan from national team. And uh, we play tournaments against this kind of fans. And we won against Russia, France against Russia. So that's uh, Moscow. It's a, it's a city that you can compare to other cities, especially for the World Cup. We talk about with many fans and they say you need to know who we are in Moscow. So that's so, so great to see that people from Moscow, they share the, the flat for free. For example, in, in some city on Kalingrad, you've got 10,000% uh, of increasing. OK, well, Biel, Mathieu and Sam, thanks very much. I think we can all guess uh, which team you think is going to win today. Well, France is already through, uh, but of course there are a number of other matches. One to watch really is Argentina today, a key uh, game for Messi's team.